All right. Um, this is my imitation of Wodan's uh, recycle hall, recycler hall. I was uh, following in his footsteps. I got a connection and uh, miner's mini compared to his. He makes it look like he's sifting through a lot to just pull out the ones he wants where right now, since I'm just getting started, I'm taking everything I've found so far, which is not much, but um, I think I have eight keyboards to get through today. So uh, let's get started. The first one, I uh, actually got a set of three of these. It says MicroStar Labs. Um, the maker is actually Keytronics. Uh, I'll show, let's see what's a good way to show that. Right here, I guess. Keytronic Corporation. Yeah. There's some focus. Um, let's see, the serial number. It's in the 725,000. That's, I think, my oldest of the three. The other two. And the demo are uh, actually uh, serial number 739337. And uh, the other one, let's see. I've got, oops. Sorry, I got a little rigged up setup here to record from overhead, and so it's a little wobbly. Sorry. But um, yeah. here's the other one, 739 and 338. So they're back to back, two of them. Uh, yeah, let's go back to this first one. If you want, it doesn't matter, but let's see. So this one, let's say 725629. It also says what looks like a date here, which I think it would say like. August of 1984, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's got a metal bottom to him, and the PCB is mounted to a smaller metal, uh, another metal plate inside, and all the switches are on, plate mounted, I believe. Like, uh, top's plastic. One thing that I thought was amazing is the uh, the space bar. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A nine U space bar. That's pretty amazing. I find these uh, control alt over here interesting as well. Um, the cables, you know, these are five pinned in. Decent shape. Uh, I think this was since it was OEM. It was. Um, MicroStar Labs, I tried to look that up. I think it was just diagnostic lab equipment and the, maybe the computer that came with whatever their me, you know, measuring system they had. This is the keyboard that came with it. They're in decent shape. They look nice, I think. Um, turns out, well, let's see. We can talk about it more later, but let me... I also want to try labeling like uh, Odin does, but uh, I can see why he pauses on the video at this part because it's hard to get the labels off my Dymo labeler to get them to peel. So give me a second while I figure this part out. It's like half the length of my small video will be peeling these labels, I think. So we're going to call this one Kraus 401. It's my handle. It's based on Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. My name's Kral, my father named me. It was a unique name that no one else has. It's a mixed blessing. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not so fun. All right, let's get the other one. This one is serial number 739337. Uh, I'm just gonna put the... Uh, an O2 on this one, or number two, if I can find it. Here it is. Um, yeah, these are Keytronic foam and foil, uh, which, you know, Chiro, so I'm not sure how you say his either, but he's another one of my heroes that I follow and watch all his videos. He, he has some old Keytronics videos and pretty much says it's the crappiest, uh, crappiest switches ever, which, but, I'm going to use 
one of these at least to uh, practice taking things apart and cleaning them. So I'm excited about that. I've already taken one of them apart. Uh, I want to do retro braiding, you know, a lot of the fun things I read about. I'm looking forward to trying that. There's curls for two. Yeah, decent shape. The cable's also great. The five pin din's attractive. Uh, I bought uh, a teensy adapter. I haven't, I've yet to try it on some of these things, but eventually I'll be getting to that. Let's see. We'll take the front plate of the one that I've taken apart right here. And we'll call that three. Actually, get the serial number on here too. So that one's the. Uh, 739338 is the one I took apart. Similar shape as the other two. You know, I don't know, maybe maybe there's some resale on some of this just for like people that want to experiment like me. Like I'm gonna replace the foam and foil pads and uh, clean it up and it's actually pretty simple and pretty fun to take apart and so I think other people might have some fun doing that too but but yeah, maybe it's too time consuming for the amount of effort you have to put in for a crappy, you know, keyboard feel when you get done. Well, I'm gonna find out because I don't know if it's crappy, but I'll, I trust that everyone else says it is. But uh, still, there's something to be learned by taking stuff apart and cleaning it up. So I'm gonna learn. Okay, let's see. All right, I wanted to make a video about the restoration of this uh, MicroStar Labs, which is OEM Keytronics uh, foam and foil board. It's from the 80s and uh, it's solidly made and I just wanted to learn about taking it apart and what's in it. And so this one I already took apart. So like you can see the everything's kind of gone. So here's the keycaps. Um, in the bag, we got uh, the, the springs that were on top under the keycaps, which I got to learn what to do with those. Are they good enough? You just keep using them or do you clean them or do you buy new ones? I don't know. And then these are the screws that took it apart. So like uh, kind of reassemble it. I mean, put it back in shape so you can see what happened. Basically, there was uh, four screws, two on each side, basically to take off the bottom plate. And uh, so that's off. And then as, as uh, Chiros mentions in his videos, I don't know how you say it, sorry, Kairos, whatever. Wish I could hear it out loud more often. Uh, they do make beautiful boards, the Keytronic, so you can kind of see the PCB is very elegant, cool to look at. Um, yep, there's the PCB. And then, let's see, let me gently set that down. And then this was screwed with four screws onto, this this part, this metal uh, plate was screwed with four screws onto uh, the outer case. And then the back of this was screwed on, the PCB was screwed on through like 16 smaller screws. And uh, this is fascinating to me because you can hear it and see it. The yeah, so you can kind of, I don't know how to show it, but you can see them doing their thing. So I'm still debating, do I need to take every one of these out of here to do something with them, clean them, or do I just clean this whole surface, or what? I don't know. Um, yeah, I didn't see any kind of extra dates or anything on the PCB. Did we see, let's see if we can get it in a readable state here. Just nothing on that side. Here's some stuff on this side. Uh, let's get a close up of that if we can. Can't quite tell, made in Taiwan, FT01 everywhere, Keytronic, PCB. Okay, that's it for now. All right, this morning, Christmas Day, we're going to look at this MicroStar Labs that's a uh, foam and foil board made by Keytronic. Uh, haven't done a whole lot 
I haven't done anything with it since taking it apart, I guess. So this is the top case. This is the PCB that we looked at before. Um, I specifically want to look at the foam and foil pieces today, so get this bottom out of the way. And flip this around. It's a little dirty, I guess I could clean it, but I think right now I wanted to look at the foam and foil parts. So I ordered off the internet these pieces and I want to see if they're, uh, they fit. Also, I don't have like a dentist tool, so I was trying to see if I have a tool that might help get the stuff out of there. So maybe this one, I don't know. I'm, some of this, the common sense of all this is you don't use metal tools, I think, around printed circuit boards because you could zap things. Um, that's why everything's plastic. I guess the spudgers and things are plastic. But this is just the metal case. This is all mechanical parts, so I think. The video I saw where the the gal that made oh uh, let's see give a little tell tell Texelec I think they do this out of their home and uh, she showed a video getting it out and so I think you can see from this that I probably tried to peel one last time we did this and it was just disintegrated to the touch kind of so so I think what I want to do is. Um, take all the foam and foil out. First I want to measure and see if one of the new ones was going to work and then take all the old ones out and then I kind of want to take the sliders up, debating how whether the sliders need any you know cleaning or lube or I gotta figure that part out but for now let's just focus on these foam and foils. Oh yikes okay that came shooting out of there. I can see why she used a, a dentist thing. Basically the bottom of these uh, foam and foil circles is latched kind of underneath probably a lip of around the edge of this uh, slider but uh, let's see if we can get into some more of these. So the, yeah this is just me peeling the top off which isn't great. Um, I was trying to see if I could figure out where where a safe place to get under the foil is. Oh, wow. That's not great because it just launches it about six inches into the air, but I guess it'll work. I don't think I have any better, better tools for the job. Maybe, maybe something in this pack. Let me open it up and see. see what we got. What kind of strange utensils we have in here. This is some pocket protector knife, I guess. This is uh, some needle nose. Uh, this one's the bent needle nose. What the heck is this thing? Oh. Just a tool for getting under stuff, but again, I don't think it's. I guess we can try it. So let's try it on one of these guys. They're so delicate. Um, oh, yeah, that's the reason right there why we want to take uh, take this the sliders out and wash them. And, ultrasonic clean them probably. This is too rough of a tool I think. <clears throat> is it just plastic? Yeah it is but I don't know. I'm wondering if this can get under something maybe. Let's see what we got here. Yeah I don't know what I'm doing but we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, those are precise. If I knew what I was trying to get under, oh, maybe, maybe it would work. Oh. Uh, so here's the one that just popped off of there. It's got a, a clear plastic. Let me get my monitor back on here. It's got a clear 
it's a uh, it's a clear plastic bottom you know and so what's interesting is where did oh it's still on here probably okay let's see if we can yeah okay oh that was nice maybe these needle nose are the the sharp the tiniest things i have for getting in this crevice so wish i knew oh <laughs> i guess i'm gonna be shocked every single time one pops out Maybe I should just make a little shield every time I'm going to do it. I mean, I guess there's no, you know, nothing could get damaged here. Just It's just basically dirt and filth flying around, I guess. But, so I need a good way to get under the, the edge of the... Oh, there we go. Yeah, the foam in this board obviously is just disintegrated. Basically, you know, it's that's so it's you know. So I want to replace it with some new stuff and see if it see what it's like to type on. I guess on it, what it make it clean, make it feel like it's brand new, and we'll see what what these things feel like. I know Thomas says he doesn't like them; they're mushy, and he has some with good foam in them. I have three of these, if you remember, and they're. Uh, oh, I have another foam and foil board too, and the foam and foil is fine, and that one that's not part of the three. But I have kind of three identical uh, that came in on the same recycler haul. So I also, that makes me, you know, it doesn't matter if I damage one on this because I got two more to back it up. Um, yeah, so just gonna <coughs> repeat that process. And then we'll think about how we're gonna clean this. I think pop the sliders out, or I don't know if the, the, the outer part of the, the black part of this pops out too. I don't know, I can't tell, but. Yeah, this is slow going. I should figure out a better way, but it's actually, yeah, I can't quite tell where they clip in, but let's see if we get this up to the camera, if we can. Tell more. Yeah, I don't know. Just keep popping, it's working, it's just slow as all. Yeah, this stuff, maybe I should go through and remove all the tops because they're just like, sort of in the way and they, it's not like anything sticks together, they're just gonna come off anyways. And then we'll be left with the plastic bottom part. That seems strategic, I guess. Strategery. Let me see if I can change one. Two. Putting in the new ones. Oh, that one went uh, eight inches high on the pop. Piper, you want to do this for me? I would love to. Okay, take one out. Take a what out? One of these disc thingies? Yeah, they're, the top is just garbage fluff. Yeah, it's layer of foam between uh, this foil this and out? then uh, yeah, there's a plastic. There's a plastic disc. That's it. Looks like uh, mm -hmm. it looks like this. Okay. Am I taking that out too? It, just the edge of it. You got to get under the edge of the plastic disc under the. Like outside of it. There you go. Okay. Wow. You want to do another one? Okay. They kind of sometimes they launch ten inches up in the air. Well, now you're getting the slider itself, but try again. But not pinching. Probably just one to lift under the edge of the. Yeah, just like that. Trying to get under the edge of the. It's an interesting problem, huh? Not. No speedy answers to popping those little pl plastic discs out. Yeah, that's all right. She can't leave till she solves this problem, Mom. Okay, good job. Okay. Right. Sorry, I was cleaning the keyboard. <laughs> okay. Jeez. This is. 
filthy stuff. I mean, what do you expect after 30 years, right? Okay. See if I can get my lighting better. Uh, okay. That's not good, that's worse. Let's go back to where we were, I guess. Yeah, okay. This is just a darker room than I usually do this in, so. Uh, yeah. But that glare is not great, is it? Let me see what I can do to fix this side. Yeah, I got kind of two lights trying to help out. That's problematic, but we'll deal with it. Wow, both are saturating the, the, the camera view, but anyways, it's all repetitive at this point, so we'll keep going. Get all these guys popped out of here. Let's see. So I guess removing the tops. And then we'll pop the bottoms. Alright. Wonder if I need to talk over the family discussions going on in the other room. Let's see. There's one row. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is bogus. I need some light. I guess once I get rid of the shinies, there won't be any light. How about I do that? I mean, there won't be any glare on the... reflecting onto the video. If I get rid of the ones that are doing it. Yet. That'd be nice. Looking forward to making it every day. Like I mentioned before, when I get older, I like all the tactile things, and it's part of why I enjoy this. Well, making coffee, making espresso is actually wonderful. I have a, a Nueva Simonelli Oscar. It's a decent espresso maker with the porta filter and you gotta grind your own beans and everything about that ritual is pretty fun every day. Yeah. Today's Christmas day and the family got each other some set of gifts, but man, I, I had my recent eBay purchases that I was trying to figure out how to do eBay and I spent too much of open, actually in all the parts for cleaning and stuff I've been buying a bunch and so I opened a bunch yesterday and that that was really more my Christmas because it was a lot of fun toys. I have another one box that I haven't opened yet that's from Grove Made that this is a nice toy too. It's a it's a task knife that's Bespoke, I guess. It's uh, wonderful. It's carved from one piece of brass with a hefty little handle and then narrows down to a sharp at the end and a little desk wood holder and uh, it's just for opening things. So uh, I can't wait to open that. I need to at some point. All right. It's not as messy as a, you know, it kind of looks messy, but it's really not too bad. I 
Where is this? Wonder what? Oh, this is the space bar. So, um, so I don't know what this was, but it's the bottom, so it's the space bar. These are nice and pointy. I like them. They're getting kind of gooey from the the uh, foam, but I can clean them later. I kind of feel the sticky on my fingers from the dead foam that's disintegrating. You guys should see the pile. There's the pile I'm making over there. Probably should show both because the pile's kind of interesting too. Building our little pile of ancient foam with a little bit of foil and some plastic discs. Plastic like as in membrane, as in overhead projector. <coughs> the transparencies from the old days. Clear sheet of thin plastic. Let's see. I guess I don't really need to do this to pop out the plastic, but it's the whole thing is going to pop out and it's going to come apart into three pieces, the, f the foil, the foam, and the plastic. So I guess this is slightly less things popping out, like the plastic and whatever foam I didn't pick up on the first pass is what's going to fly out. start a new pile but over on this side but I'm trying to keep the dirt in one the filth in one place I guess this and then off screen we got I suppose the numpad this is probably the nav cluster here and last one from that let me angle the keyboard oh that's sticky and not pleasant so we can see the numpad area You know, I don't honestly know why. Okay, we lube sliders. We lube sliders, but <clears throat> for sure in like the Cherry MX, what, you know, should you lube all sliders? I suppose there's a chance for friction to degrade the performance. So like in foam and foil, there's definitely a slider going up and down, but I probably will research before I pop them all out or something, because maybe they're clean enough Although with me putting all this, making all this mess with the foam, that, that makes me want to take them out because there's probably, clean it better because there's foam's probably getting everywhere and the def, and it's, since it is sticky, yeah, it's likely it'll get in the, the sliders and the, the 
casing as well, so I probably need to give all that a good. And that's what would make me want to pop out the uh, the black part too, the casing, because to make sure all the foams out of the the white sliders and the black housing, and then leave the metal and I can clean the metal separately, and I can ultrasonic all the rest, and then I could. And let's put some in distilled water to wash it after that, and then, but then what? Uh, should I lube them or not? I might ask Thomas if we, or Dust Authority if I, if I have time. I guess there's no rush. I got all kinds of time. Don't have, don't feel like I need to do all of it in any one in one day at all. So, all right, let's. Uh, it's interesting, uh, stabilizer, part of the stabilizer. All right, um, now we're back to popping the plastic off. Yeah, I think you can see the stuff flying up when I do that. Oh, wow, that was a new record. <clears throat> that one is probably a foot high. Maybe I should slow mo that part and so you can get it on. Have more fun watching. Sounds like Duraje's got some Ethiopian music going over there in the other room. He's uh, joined our family. Needed a place to stay. Oh. Okay, I got, got on my Mac. I don't really want to have to clean a billion things here. Back that up a little bit. Like I said, I need to rick block the ricochet of the, the stuff popping out. But then it blocks the view. You guys have, but, but it's the price you pay, I guess. There's the other one. Quite a messy 30 year old technology to deal with this foam and foil. Probably wouldn't want to be glad they're not the best switches ever so you'd have to do this every single time to repair one but according to Thomas they're pretty horrible so I suppose I won't be doing this too often but it'd be nice to restore one of each kind and see what you see what see what it look, feels like in restored form yeah when we get done popping these out maybe we'll see what taking the slide. Oh, actually, I just got a slider out right there. Wow, maybe I should take those out first because that would have been a speed improvement if I just took the slider out. Huh. Then I can actually reach in there. Well, probably should have done that first, but actually, I might be scratching the sliders right now, too. Jeez. Okay. Here's what a slider looks like. Um, how is it held to the walls of the, of the, this? I guess I'm not technically scratching it. What am I doing? Let's see. What did I do? Now I can't remember what I did. So, oh, oh, look at, they're not all, are they all equal? No, cause like this one, the corner is like taken up by this side, but this one, the corners are taken. So in other words, the hole is here, whereas on these, the hole's here. So that's probably why I had a hard time getting one of these out let's see that, that's 
I'm not even doing very much to do that. I guess I'm putting in my grip, my needle nose. Oh, look, I'm bending the, I'm also bending my tip, if you can see, by prying these things out. I guess I can bend it back later. Um, let me get this up here so you can see it. Uh, yeah, the, this, this one's getting bent because it's been prying these things out, so. Uh, yeah. Well, I probably should not be doing that, huh? Let me try one of the metal ones again and see if it can pop the sliders out. Yep. Yeah. I might, I might focus on popping sliders out because then I can... Once they're out, I can actually feel the... So now we got a new plan of attack. We're taking sliders out. I guess we'll be washing, cleaning up sliders. I wonder, actually, uh -oh, am I chipping this by leaning against it? Could be destroying all this, like learn as you go, I guess, but you know, maybe I caused that little dent in that corner. Can't get the light right to show you, but... But right now I'm wondering... They all have... Oh, not even all of them, but... Several have this little hole right here. But then, like, this one has... I don't think it has any holes. Or maybe it broke off or something, or... No, so I don't get why some have holes and some don't. Cleaning a keyboard? Actually, most of them have this hole. So then the question is, why do these two not? I have no idea, but maybe we'll learn as we, we'll think of a reason as we go, I don't know. Yeah, so, let's see. I don't know if I'm gouging the edge. You gotta keep an eye on that. Just sort of gently, I think, expanding and to get it to slide out, the slider to slide out. Okay. This is feeling right and good, so. Yeah, it slides up. Okay. Hey, Allie, someone left something last night on the porch. Okay. Someone left something on the porch last night? Uh, yeah. Jacob. Jacob's family. Okay. Oh. Someone watching would say this is not the gentlest. Isn't this isn't the way to pop those guys out, but um, but I think damaging this by doing something would be worse. But there is a there is a a bar at the bottom that maybe I could push on. So. Let's think about that for a sec, why not? Try some other techniques. Take a spudger and do it. Uh, these spudgers are pretty wide. Let me get a spudger and see if that'll help. Tool 
workspace, but yeah, that. So I want something flat. Actually, I might be a screwdriver, but it'd be better. So that crossbar. I don't know if that crossbar is related to bottoming out the. No, because it's just foam and foil, so it's just stability. Because, because you can is. Uh, you know, the foam and foil layer push, when this thing pushes down, so the, but the, the key cap, yeah, I think it's probably safe to push on that. Uh, what was I gonna get? I think I'll get a little flathead screwdriver to see what, that might be better for this. I can turn it on. Is this one too wide? This one's a little big, so I don't want to <coughs> wreck the, where the key caps go. So let me see if I can find a smaller one. Oh, uh, it's like <coughs> I don't have any smaller ones <coughs> at the moment. <coughs> I wonder if any of these are small. This one would be ideal, but not any smaller than this, I don't think. So, you know, the question is, am I damaging the... Yeah, I don't like that. <clears throat> so what are we left with? What do we got here? This one's too wide. This one can get in there, no problem. Pretty gentle tap to just poke on it, so let's see. Yeah, I need something flat and tiny to get in there because do I really not have something flat enough and tiny enough to poke around in there? Let me see what this one does. Mm, too wide. Too wide. Uh, what about just this pushing? So. Some pop out a lot easier than others. Not sure what that means. <coughs> the seating and the housing is looser, maybe? Yeah, like that one was, that one was super easy. Could be due to key press popularity, I suppose, too, or something. Yeah, this is a much faster process, I'd say. So I'm leaving them where they are because now we got to then we got to take the <coughs> excuse me the uh, plastic part of the foam and foil off the bottom of these. Oh yeah, I forgot these two uh, pieces broke off and have pieces broken off inside them on the other videos. I didn't I might not have pointed that out, but yeah, one of the key caps that went in this one is sort of broken off inside it. So. Sadness there. I'm wondering how hard it is to damage the you know, the walls that the keycap fits in. I hope it's, I don't think I've been like gouging them or anything. I'm just trying to push on the middle mostly. But maybe that's not smart because it could, maybe it could easily ruin the keycap holder there. Yeah, it's 
fascinating that some are hard to push through and some are just willing to give instantly. Okay, that's all of those. Let's see, I'm still curious about whether we can or should take off these. Like, there's a little kind of notches on the side here, but it's unclear. Are those metal? It sure feels like plastic, but like this thing's sturdy metal. That's plastic. How are they mounted on here though? I guess you can see there's little lips here so I'd pop them out if I push those lips. If I, yeah, they snapped them in I guess, top down, like probably pushed in like this until they, cause look at this flat. Uh, there's nothing on this side that you could do but on this side, there's these little ridges that, that it's made it stay in there. So I could, I could try popping one of those, but we'll try that a little bit later. For now, let's continue our removal of the plastic. Uh, so hopefully all these are, are a good pile up here that we already got, already checked. Okay, so then we can check the next batch and put them over there if they're empty. Like this one has to get it popped off. <sighs> empty, 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 empty. It's kind of fun to try a few different ways to towards efficiency. Definitely think we stumbled on the right one there. Because it's easy this this way. It's easy to feel the plastic disc and pull it out of there. In fact, it kind of is telling me that's how you should uh, put them back in is to probably by hand take these texts alike and put the plastic face down and get it in there first and then put the sliders back in is what I'm thinking at this point. So like I said we're gonna clean the sliders but are we gonna lube them? I might need to ask some questions on whether it's whether I don't know I guess you know, it's probably up to each individual what you want to do. Like one thing I asked Voden, and it's just in its simplest form is take everything apart down to the smallest level you can and clean it and then put it back together. So if while it's apart, if I think lube would help the, if lube helps any slider, then yeah, I'd probably put lube in there. This is funny because I have yet to lube anything but I do have some lube, some G0 and some other funky one. I can't even remember the names of them yet because I haven't done it. Uh, There's such small amounts though, I feel like I probably need to order some more or some, some other kinds that come in greater quantities or I don't know. We'll see, I guess I just get a paintbrush out and after I clean this and paint each of these, each of these stems the uh, sliders, I mean, um, yeah, we'll see. Jury's still out on that one. It kind of has this weird feeling of like crack, the sound I think is making me think like I'm cracking pistachios or something. Makes me want to eat it, but I guess I can't eat that, huh? Might be painful flowing through the system. Kind of a cathartic uh, manual labor here. It's the sound of the plastic coming off is way more re rewarding this way because it's controlled. I can hold it. It's not flying anywhere. So this feels 
right and good. This is one of those where the the thing broke, the keycap broke off in it. You can see it in there if I can get it on the light. It's supposed to be empty, right? Like, oh well. So it should be sorry. So empty versus, oops, got a piece of one of the keycaps broke, which was sad. But so I guess I gotta. Pull that out of there before we wash it. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. Easier said than done, huh? Oh, there we go. Well, there's a stem of a keycap. Nothing but sadness. For that event there is one more I think that's like that so let's keep an eye out see if we can spot it as it goes by I hope I'm not flinging these things across the room I just dropped one on the floor but I think that's the first one I cracking nuts cracking pistachios here satisfying click What's not satisfying is the gross feeling of the dis gluey, dis disintegrated foam. Fingers are pretty kind of gluey, gummy at this point. Guess you can see it a little bit. With the modern technology meets old is always funny because if I put gloves on, or now I have this sticky stuff on my finger, well, my Mac goes to sleep because of, I guess, corporate policy on locking me out every five minutes. So then I have to take this dirty finger and push the touch ID, so I'm spreading it to that. And so so technology is never quite perfect. I wish I didn't, I should have, maybe because I'm doing this a lot, I'll make my left hand fingerprint work so that because it's clean right now since I guess I use my right hand for a lot of this oh here's a here's another one of those broken let me get you a good one here so uh, this is you can see what there's a piece in there let's flip them both over yeah Yeah, so let's try to get that out. Huh. What should I use? Maybe this. The stems are pretty beefy on the keycaps. Oh. Wow, that one went 20 feet over to the left. But you can kind of see that the keycaps, you know, the stem of them is a couple pieces like this coming down. Okay. All right, I think that was the only, I think there was only two that had broken off bits in them. Uh, so we're making piles here. Pile, out with the old, out with the dead, and the what's staying is getting ready to get cleaned. Yeah, I don't think I need to take the black casing out of each one, but we'll see. I could probably just clean them and lube them in place, but if I really wanted to clean it right, I'd figure out how to pop out that black casing. Since I have three of these, I mean, why not? If I can figure out a technique for popping out the, popping them out, I might as well, it might be fun. We'll look at that in a second. Looks like we're good. Yeah? 
Okay, I got about I got about twenty more caps to separate. And I guess we'll do some more later. I might get my little vacuumer Eureka out to clean this. And, and, oh, <laughs> the mat, dust mat, you can see it's got a lot of shrapnel. Allie, that's external versus internal. It could be. satisfying it's kind of fun to hear that sound it's easy to get underneath the floor the plastic these are so these sliders are so weird looking they just look kind of broken they're like hey this, this piece broke off but they all look the, that way they're specifically made that way I guess it saves on cost if you can anchor it in two corners and not on the other two or something. But it seems more complicated as a part to make, but I guess not. It's less plastic being used. Take your CAD drying and shave off two corners. I don't know. I'm not a CAD person. But. All right, that's it for now. All right, let's see if we can solve the problem of how to, see if we can try to remove these guys. Still really puzzled why some have holes in the corner, but several do not, but it's not like they're strategic, I don't think. Like these two, maybe they're right next to each other for maybe the shift key, but, but the shift on the other side, I don't know, doesn't do that. And a couple up here do, and then one has a hole, and then the other one doesn't. So I don't understand that, why they, why some have a hole in the corner and others don't. So let's see if we can take a spudger and, you know, spudgers I know are plastic so that you can work with them on electronics, but I also wonder if plastic is less, also has a less chance of scratching if something if you're using stainless steel. So what I'm trying to do is push in the notch here. Yep, that, that, that cut that side. Let's try, oh, and then I just clicked it back in. I oh, well. guess you gotta be both handed here to do these. Yeah, okay, well, there's one. Do I wanna do that a billion times? Yes, I do. Let's see, can I get away with using one hand by... I'm not sure of any fast processes for doing this, but let's see what we can do here. gross like I broke something let's see oh yeah here's one of them and here's yeah I might have bent that one because it felt like this one caved this sticks out let me get this under the camera here Get some light. Uh, what I was 
trying to show is this sticks out. I guess you can't really see it. How about from the side? That's the lip, I guess. Now I'm going to flip it 180 and see I destroyed this lip by pushing that in too far, I guess. Let me see what I did. Yeah. I think it's fine, but let me play with this one. Let's pop it back in just to see. Do they all have uh, something to keep in mind is they all have this horseshoe and it's all, every single one is, oh, actually it's not true. Here's two that are facing sideways. So I guess they didn't even take great care. And well, these two face each other. These two face each other, so maybe it's where shifts and returns go, they face each other. Up here, these two face each other. I'm talking about the horseshoe around it. But in general, they all kind of face with the horseshoe towards this, the end of it towards the space bar. So I'm just gonna, this one felt like I did something wrong when I popped it. I'm going to put it back in for fun and pop it again and see if it... Yeah, both sides are clipped, so it's not going anywhere, so I didn't break it. Um, Alright, what I want to do though is I want to get another spudger and maybe I can get them out with a push, single push. we can sort of rest it on those guys and see if I can now oh, I just poked a hole in my hand with this point hand yeah that's not a thing Okay, doable. Wow, I really did poke a hole. <laughs> Stuff's very sharp. Let's look under the, let's see if I can get it close to the phone and get it some focus. Guess not. Anyways. This will be good because then I can for sure clean every piece and then it's just, uh, I'll look up whether I want to lube the stems or not. I'm kind of leaning towards why not, but why wouldn't I? But so yeah, all these keyboards kind of take a lot of work if you want to really clean every piece. I just finished, let's see, what did I do that was also, to, oh, yeah, the number of pieces on this Epson I had that had, like, the stems were separate, there's just, like, a billion pieces. This one, it's 
not too bad, I guess, compared to that one. But the amount of work to do this is time consuming for sure. Yeah, I'm making these, these things fly off when I pop them through. I guess I should be a little more gentle. Hard to take out, but I think easy to put back in as well. So this will be the hardest part, and then the rest will get easier. See if I do four at once, whether oh, it's laying right there. Oh, shoot. Sounds like Dragea is doing magic tricks in the other room. something to that if I pop a bunch at this side and then switch and do the other side again I pop, accidentally popped one of them back into place instead of out <sighs> Oh, I was like, this one's hard to pop out. Well, it's because the notches, instead of being on this side and this side for both of these, are actually top and bottom. So, so you know, just some inconsistency in how they how they put them in, I guess. Or part of their master plan, you know. So. That's what I have to deduce whether it was intentional for some reason, but I'd say no. I'd say they are all kind of the same. Every little piece comes apart. Got the stems, got these. The foil, the, the foil was degraded, you know, this, the, the foam, I mean, the, was in between. It was so gross, it's kind of everywhere, but this will clean every, I'll clean every part. And then the, it was nice to separate them all because then they can be cleaned individually. This one, there's two little clasps on each side, so you kind of got to get them started on one side and then then I can go to the other side and free, free it. Oops, I'm trying not to shoot them across the room. It's just explaining to my wife what I was doing. And shoot across, there it is. Let's see if I can do nine at once here. Stop for flying P 
pieces. That seems faster for sure. I'll probably do that some more. Let's get these guys out first. They're kind of weird. Again, they're vertical. Oh, yeah, they both shared the same spot. Uh, are they different than other ones? I don't think so. I think they're interchangeable. Okay, now we'll try a lot. Let's see if I can... Oh, these dumb vertical ones get in the way. They're not following the pattern. Do a couple more of these vertical ones. Let's try the other side now. Okay, four of them ended up on my Mac. Yikes, I got some piece of dirt on my Mac. Okay, it's coming along, right?
I've gouged myself like so many times with the back of the spudger so sharp. Like right here. Jeez. Vertical, vertical. All right, getting close. That one shot pretty far, but I still was able to retrieve it. Make a new keyboard. Cleaning an old one. So these ones, I gotta pop these last two out. So there's all those. Now I gotta see. I can do this, I guess. Oh. Just popped it back in. I want to make a keyboard. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean make though? I mean like renew the... Renew one, yeah. yeah. Okay. This one was fairly complicated. Like I just got rid of a bunch of the pieces in the middle that look like that. Oh. So it was like hard. I'll see. I'll keep my eye. I have a bunch so we can find one that's easier or something. Okay. This, I'm trying to figure out what I should be able to get it off, but so what's the trick here? I guess it's... This is metal. It's, huh? This is... Yeah, this is, yep. I'm trying to separate... Yeah, I don't know how that got in there. Uh, that's an interesting problem. I could leave it on there, but it's plastic. It wasn't there to begin with, so someone added it. How did they add it? This middle bar might come out of these sockets if I pull enough. Let's see. What do we got here and how are we gonna solve this? Okay, so to me it looks like I gotta push those in. Maybe this end in. Let's see what happens if we try that. No. That's not right. I can get in the sides, but then what? Hmm. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Trying to figure out the trick for removing this plastic from the metal. I have no idea how they how they did that. So that's the answer right there, this little clip. Just couldn't see it. So it looks fairly easy now that I look closer. Push this in. I think, ow, without stabbing your skin, geez. Um, yeah, maybe this guy's more appropriate, yep. There we go. That's the answer to that. Uh-oh, what's this piece? Uh-oh. Looks like I broke something. Uh, yeah, I broke. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this broke off of here, so. Crap. Another casualty that the stabilizers aren't going to go in well, you know, without this piece. Uh, that's a piece I just pushed on to unclip, I believe, so you can see, you know. Yeah, I broke this top clip part off when I just pushed it in. Sadness. All right, well, casualties of war, I guess. Well, we have our separate pieces. Here they are. This board is completely able to be cleaned now. This is the metal. And uh, this is the plastic, you know, that is ready to go too, like these guys go inside here like that and some springs. Let me pop one in here and see what it see if I can get one in here. Uh there's the that hole probably needs to go in a certain one of these corners. Maybe this one. Can't get it in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, guess not. It should go in there and stay, but uh, let's see if I can figure out a rhyme or a reason to getting it in here. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it slides pretty well, like it doesn't feel like it would need lube, but... But, who knows? What was I using to pop these out? It was tweezers of some sort, which I don't see. Yeah, here they are. Yeah. All right. I'll clean some stuff and then come back later and put it together.